Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another episode of our Attila campaign playing as the Saxons. And in today's episode, the plan is to, well, conquer more of Gaul, so hopefully go down here towards Tyronum and then Avaricum. Try and unite maybe parts of Aquitania. Uh, what regions are, um, I would like to try and take some of like the rest of this region as well. Look dumb. Wow, this is like a really weird province. This is like Tyronum. Yeah, that's really weird actually. But we'll try and get down here and take some more of this province as I'm not even going to try and pronounce. Um, but in the last episode, we did make an assault against the Franks and kick them out of our ter uh, out of the Rhineland territories. You call them all, almost like, uh, well, Frisia, more like, so like Belgium and the Low Countries. Um, and we then crossed the Rhine, which is sort of here, and into northern uh, Gaul as well. Along with carrying on our assault through Rontomagus. And then we have to deal with some Gauls. Um, which had risen up. But we're, we're fine now. Um, the Franks have resettled over here. In what is... what I'm, I've been told is like nowadays Prague. Kassagis. I'm pretty sure is nowadays pr Prague. Um, which is fine. I'm not too worried about them being there. We've got some pretty good garrisons in Urbazis. Oh well, I say that. That's not a very good garrison. But <laughs> it's better than... Um, other places. Um, Ereglia is also pretty well garrisoned and we can always move armies back there quickly if needs be. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're, we're fine for now. The Romans are building up some large armies here um, and that is a bit worrying but that's not too wor not too bad. Britain, very peaceful now. It's all solid. The war, we are now, uh, we now govern the wall. We have Hadrian's Wall. We now look after that. Um, we keep that well maintained, don't worry. Um, but yes, yeah, so I hope you guys have been enjoying this Let's Play so far. Um, if you have been, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm th thanks very much so far for all the new recent subscribers. It's been really helped to the really good boost to the channel. Really helped us out. Um, so if you haven't subscribed and you're new around here, um, please do uh, subscribe. Really helps out the channel, like I just said. So I guess we'll get on with the episode. Um, don't really think I'm going to move anything massively. I think. Yeah, I think a few armies can move, but I mean, Rontomagus is definitely going to have a rebellion any minute now. Um, so they're certainly not going to move. My army here could actually can't move either, and there's definitely going to be a rebellion around here as well. Um, where we don't know, but I'm not sure yet. Augusta Trevorum can't really do anything, can't really defend Augusta Trevorum, and I don't really want to at the moment with this huge legion here. So I'll end the turn, and we will see what happens. Um, see whether any rebellions spark. No, I, the Irish, I will not be uh, helping you in your war against the Eastern Roman Empire. The Picts may actually come and take some Western Gaul themselves. If that's the case, then we have to accept that. And I'll just get on with uh, taking other parts of the world. Maybe Italy. Well, we will see. Uh, no, I will not just join a war against the Venedians for free. Especially when the Venedians are, like, right there. Venedians? Venedians? Oh, the Franks are still moving. <laughs> I like how they have this navy. And they're a landlocked nation now. Poor poor Franks. What can they do with that? Not much. Oh, the Geats are uh, landing in my territory. Interesting. We are allied to the Geats, so they shouldn't really be a threat. And the Jutes are coming back for another, I don't know, visit. Refreshing water. Keep me at, uh oh, okay. Looks like yeah, I was need some water just to, you know keep the uh keep the throat uh hydrated I guess and just survive so I don't die of a dry throat. Um but the Romans there, I was what I was gonna say, um before I started going on about one. The Romans are attacking the Macamans, it seems, and they're gonna push back. The Allens fighting the Western Germanic separatists. I guess I will invo get involved in that war just for the sake of helping the Allens, but I mean, they're pretty much beaten up anyway. Here we go, Gaul is back, no surprise, um, I'm just gonna... They do actually, uh, I don't know, we could have possibly won that fight, I don't know what they have here, it's probably cavalry again, but I'm going to just be aggressive, try and kill as much of this stuff as possible, yep, no surprise, we just get stabbed in the chest and we're gonna die. Yeah, they have just cavalry, I probably actually could have won that fight, because... But yeah, there we go. 
Um, I will decree. There you go. And we adopted Horsa. Horsa has been adopted. Yes, he has. I'm going to make him a companion. Actually, no. Yeah. Yeah, we'll make you a companion. I'll try and find you a wife now. Um, Burgundians. You got any wives? No. Then stop talking about your pork. Welcome. Trade. Why are we still not got trade, Jutes? Why have we still not got trade? The real question in life right now. Make it 2,000 and we have a deal. It's still high, hey? 2,200. There we go. Make every bit of money I can. Geets, you got any wives? Friend, no, but again, talk, trade. Why have we not got trade? Good wine until we can talk no more. Why have we not got trade? That was a bit too much, I agree. Really bizarre why we don't have trade with you. Uh, 3,000. No. That's just I not... That was never on the table. <laughs> I was never going to join war. Give your warriors leave to fight. Shut up, you. I don't want to talk to you about anything other than trade. 2,700 is the best I'm doing. There we go. Right, but you have no women that I can uh, marry to my you new guy. Welcome. Uh, yeah, Your sure. Have a Harridan. And people expect talk with purpose and Why would you say no to that? Oh, uh, trade, though. They still don't want trade. These people. These people. Lugians. You have the ear of my people. We have trade already. Uh, Ostrogoths. You like me. We have need of but you have no marriages I can do. Dacia, hate me. Quardians like me. And they've we really migrated. Talk. I'm uh, Macamans. They really like me. There's a good pork but you have no have no family that I can marry into. I don't really want to have to just go with the really? Rugians. No. I wish people would just stop talking My in this friend. thing. There we go. Arranged you marriage. Welcome. Intelligent. Fertile. Smile upon you. The gods go fertile. You. There you go. Hi. And I will like some money then for it. Easy money. There we go. I can now replace everything here. So we'll put in a... Uh, probably put in a military jetty. And we'll also put in... Um, I'll just leave it at that, actually, for now. I'm going to just take Duracorum. I'm going to actually cause a rebellion anyway. Hmm, actually, I don't know if I want to... Could this army reach? Actually, no, this army can reach, can't it? You break off the siege. You break off the siege, you go back to your place, you attack. Because this army's now disappeared. Excellent. Right, there we go. That sorts that out. Axe him in the head. And there's another Roman dead. Axe him in the head, that's another Roman dead. That's kind of got a bit of a, a rhyme to it, almost. Duracorum doing its thing. Ah, of course, though. Everything gets damaged. Um... Um, what are we going to put in? Ooh, what's this? Oh, yeah, we could put Sacred Ground in, I guess. That would certainly help. Well, we've got one here, actually, going. A Warrior's Shrine. Knock that down. Keep knocking stuff down. Um, Sacred Ground could be handy. We'll put some... Hmm. What do we need more? We actually need more food. Food would probably be handy. Goat Herd gives us the most food. So let's put a goat herd in. I know it means we don't get any cavalry in this region, but we're not short of regions with cavalry. Um, I'm going to move. Well, move. I'm going to go for cunning. Possibly, yeah, we'll go with cunning. And then we'll go with authority, I think. Actually, no. Cunning and then integrity, please. Thank you. And then I'm going to move to Augusta Trevorum. Actually, no, move back to Colonia Agrippiana. Because there's going to be a rebellion here again. So if I'm in the two regions that can't really defend themselves for a turn, that's brilliant, basically. There's going to be, might be a rebellion here soon as well. But we should be able to sort that out. Um, Londinium is... Got the plague. That's brilliant. Um, you can... Have a meeting hall. Because you need more food. Then we're out of money. That's a shame. All out of money. Um, 
What's this army doing down here? Oh, this is Garrison Army. It's still not got this place happy. That's annoying. Um, Germanic Paganism is actually going down. That's not brilliant either. So what do you mean to still convert? Well, Germanic Paganism generally is going up, but it's not massively. That's not brilliant. Uh, it looks like Ar Aryan Christian or Greco-Roman Paganism is going to take over in Britain, which neither of them I really want in my uh, territory. Roman, uh, but Germanic paganism is doing well in this part of the world. That's good. Um, might just need another shrine here or something. That's annoying. Um, right. I think we're gonna end the turn again because I've got nothing better to do with these. Uh, with this uh, military Be access. People, let us enter your land. Sure. You're giving me a thousand for it. They're now definitely going to go and attack some Roman places because I've given them military access, but I don't really care. They can take some Roman places and do some damage, I don't know. It looks like the Burgundians are getting pushed back by the Franks, though, and the Franks are going to quite happily move their <laughs> navy all over the place. Ooh, and there's a Frankish army. And there's that Gaelic rebellion that I've been worrying about for so long. And the Jutes are carrying on their vacation. Excellent. Carry on. They're going to go and see the sights. They're going to go and burn Spain. Maybe burn the Colosseum. Visit North Africa, possibly. That's all that's left. Oh, the Romans are bringing up a big stack here. Chasing the Macmans down. And there's another huge stack up. Um... Argenticorum, or whatever it's called. They have got a lot, of lot of armies left of the Western Roman Empire. They're actually holding quite well. Peace treaty. The the They're actually really strong. No, I'm not going to make peace with you. You're clearly not strong at the moment. Oh, I don't know. You just killed the Alans off. And the rebellion in Belgica, no surprise. Faction destroyed. The Lugans been destroyed. Oh, the, by the Venadians. Jeez. Okay, so I guess that's all sorted out. You keep killing him off. This province is actually getting happier, but it's going to come at a cost of fighting rebellions. I'm then going to move this army into just defend Augusta Trevorum. And we'll then go from there. We will then go from there. Right, Augusta Trevorum secured. Plus one a turn. We'll put this up to Chieftain's Hall, and we'll knock this down. And we'll get something else that's going to help with happiness. Logging camp. Oh, even more industry. Could be handy. Um, I'm not going to go for it yet. Yeah, they've got another 12 stack here. They've got quite a lot of armies here. Where are the rest of the... Are they just not bothered to defend anything over here? I don't know. Maybe. Um, right, can I convert any of these? No. Too expensive. I kind of want to just spend time on converting everything to a different... Oh, that was 4,000. That's very cheap, actually. So there you go. Sagontium can do that. Lindum can be the next to have it done. Sagontium is just on the coast, I guess, so it's kind of why I'm a bit worried. Well, how much did it cost to have a Borokums done? Uh, quite a while. Well, quite a while. Quite a lot. Um, and a while. Right, there's going to be a rebellion here. Can I... Just about get back, I think, if I wanted to. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to fight it. I'm not too fussed. They can't re quite reach the Macamans. So I definitely need to keep these two regions defended for the moment while they uh, keep this huge stack around. Oh, the Caledonians landed. They did take Toronum. No surprise there, to be honest. Um, what else can we spend our money on? We could spend it on actually on troops. This army's not quite full stack. Not that I'm really excited by anything that's on offer. Mercenaries, again, not really anything massive. I might just send them back to a regular when I get the chance, when I have to counter the Franks when they arrive. Which could be soon. But I mean, I can reach it in one turn, and they can't start attacking for a few more turns. Um, yes, a regular is fairly well defended anyway. 
And this is a beaten up army. Um, let's see what we can do in diplomacy. I doubt much. The Bastanians, they really like me, actually. Non aggression? No, you. No, you're not a fan of that, apparently. Okay, uh, Eastern Roman Empire is still looking very strong. Don't know how the West. Well, the West is just as strong, to be honest, as well. The Vandals need to start doing some damage. They're not at war with the flipping West anymore. I bet this all is very undefended. They could carve out a kingdom. Um, yeah, I'm fairly good. Uh, Caledonians, I could do getting on better Welcome. terms with. We will talk. Military access. Yeah, they're starting to carve out a kingdom of their own. It's annoying. Um, I kind of just want to take as much gold as possible and then get down to Italy. So I kind of just want to spear through here and do stuff. But I kind of got to secure my northern border for the moment. Though I could have this fight. Could fight that. Though it's possibly more than I'd like to fight. A 20 stack versus another 20 stack of Romans. I feel like I have the disadvantage. Mainly because this is mostly still crap. What am I... Um... What am I researching? Ah, okay. Well, I would like to go for... Maybe for this one next. Nord so I get Nordic Spears instead of Nordic Levy. Because these guys are still awful. So I'll end the turn. Don't know why it's telling me about Satanus dying. But it's telling me about Satanus dying. The pits are now landing. And they're going to go and help their Caledonian allies out by the looks of it. I'm quite happy shit. I mean, I've quite a few people have said you should go and take out the Picts and the Caledonians. But even though I'd like to and unite the whole king the whole island, um it just makes more sense to keep them there. Like they're giving me trade, they give me a lot of money through trade. And also like it's just another like war I have to fight currently. Like right now, I've got a lot, my hands full with the Romans. Um I could go for the Picts and the Caledonians at another point. But not right now. I need to keep fighting the Romans and beat them till they finally go for a peace treaty. Um, which I'm not quite sure what I'd want for a peace treaty. It'd probably be something like... When I finally take out Gaul or something like that. Ah, uh, I'm going to say no. The Macamans can fight that alone. I like how the Macamans haven't bothered to form... Well, they're a horde now, so they could just... Oh my god, they really are gonna... No. You're really eager for a peace tree. Oh, yeah. Rebellion in Lugdonensis, that's gone. Minus one a turn. Well, I'm gonna put most of my money into converting that to a Chieftain's Hall. We're earning a lot of turn now. Are you... Are the Geats at war with the Western Roman Empire? They are indeed. So if I attacked Argentacorum, they wouldn't actually be called. They wouldn't. They're not quite close enough to be called in. Um, I'm gonna move to Urbisis. I'm gonna move you to Gusta Trevorum. or Bursis, or whatever it's called. Um, maybe because I can get a lot more good troops here. We'll get two more units of uh, these badass Nordic axemen. Then I'm going to get a, hmm, probably another unit of cav. Saxon mounted warband, a medium. They're very, very good. Yeah, we'll get one of them. Light skirmish cavalry, yeah, I'm definitely not getting them. So yeah, that should sort out my army. That's a fairly good 20 stack. And then that might actually be able to match the Romans now. The, the Romans, I mean, the Geats are just going to plow on through like nothing's there. Ron to Magus. Yeah, you're still not happy. I could make a small fleet. Have a small fleet to garrison Ron to Magus. And this is going to convert to itself in like f five turns. So, what does the. It's minus 23 if I'm not in there. Jeez, why? Immigrants. That's just not on. You can't just complain about immigrants. Not on. It's 20, it's not 20, it's 405 AD. Immigration is a thing of the past. We don't, we don't take him the piss about immigrants. We don't, God. <laughs> People these days. Um, Land of loyalty. Uh, yeah, okay. I can just about afford all of these. 
How come I can't get that one? I guess because I'm not a horde? I don't know. One or the other. Oh no, because I need to have that. Okay, so I need to have this before I can go for that. Which I kind of would like to go for, I guess, but I'm not too fussed. I'd kind of like to go for Mastery of Terrain first. Uh, Tullifurdum, uh, I'm going to put in the Hunting Lodges because more money, I guess. That's always good. Um, and then I'll go for Argentacorum maybe next turn. What's their garrison like? Oh, that's actually quite nasty, that garrison. Jeez, what's in there that's like causing that to be... They have two military things here. Jesus. Garrison and a skirmisher. Yep, they've kind of overkilled that, haven't they? I bet they've not defended any of these other ones. Yep, that one's barely defended. Spread them out, man. Spread them out. Um, I could go... Oh, that's the thing. This army here is kind of needed. Could just do a recruiting another army, but I don't want to do that just yet. Well, in the turn, we'll try and, I'm going to try and get you, you guys a battle because... In a good battle, I might try and get uh, two of my stacks to attack Argentacorum. See what the Franks do this turn. If the Franks clear the off, then of yeah. Why are you at war with the Can you send them those people? They're like all the way in the Corsicus. Makes no sense. Okay, so the Franks have cleared off. Great. So we could actually now attack Argentacorum with two stacks, I think. I think there's enough for each. Let's see. Let's see what happens. It looks like the Nordic faction is just going to carry on swimming around. Western Roman Empire wanting peace. Interesting. No. <laughs> no, we're not having peace yet. No, no, no. Oh. Some big stacks being thrown around. I could, I think I could attack that first army with my first, with this army at Trevorum. So I don't think the other army's in reach. And if that's the case, that's brilliant. That's one army taken out. Oh my gosh. Struggle will end badly and with little honor for anyone. My elders such as peace. What say you? Yeah, sure, we'll make them a tributary. Fine, for like two seconds. They're gonna die in a minute anyway. So I've now got a tributary over here. Um They're doing great. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so bizarre. Uh, but that's funny. So we just gain a gain a little tribute for a, l a few more turns. Um, not that it's going to do much for us. Could we attack? We can. Oh no! This army does get drawn in. Didn't look like they were gonna. They didn't look like they were in range, but no, they are very much in range. Um. Hmm. Interesting. What are we going to do here then? So Urbazis is looking very happy. I could upgrade this. And I might. To Germanic Standing Stone. Is it going up Germanic Paganism here? Oh, it's not actually. Germanic Paganism is going down. So we'll put a Germanic Standing Stone in. Kind of help push Germanic Paganism on. Um, could do a town... Not really fussed about having that. Hmm. Hmm. A tough decision. Oh, okay, a, a Colonia Agrippiana. I will put in a well. Just to help with growth. So we can help with that out. And then you can have a sacred grove. And that should help that out as well. Rontomagus. You're actually now plus three. That's good. Um, and this is actually going to... Miss Military Jetty will mean that the garrison here is actually fairly beefy. It's a, Yeah, it's not great so far. But then we could actually move this army on to actually go on and do stuff. Like I could go and take this place all the way down here. It doesn't seem like it's part of the same province, but it is. So that's fine. We could do that. Um, icicles of blood... I really don't like that these two armies are all together. I could fight this. Uh, look at that. Spamming out Augusta Palatina. 
Augusta Palatina. Western Auxilia Palatina, sorry. Look at that, it's disgusting. I mean, his generals are just made up of heavy melee, which are Palatinas. He's barely bringing any missiles, in fairness. This actually could be doable. If one of these armies stays out here, I'm quite happy to engage it. I bet these are the same, aren't they? I bet they're also just made up of Western Auxilia Palatina. We have a thousand left. We're still actually not happy here. Could do with... Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need to go down there. Hmm. We'll end the turn. We will see if we can get one of these Roman armies to stick around just to... Fight it out, basically. Only the Franks want peace. peace. I will give them peace the for nothing. Yeah, there they go. They can have peace. The Franks and I are at peace now. That's good. Didn't really need to carry on being at war with them. Uh, I got what I wanted out of them. I can now start trading, I guess, if uh, they ever wanted to trade. But I'm sure they are very opposed to trading with me because we just destroyed their homeland. Let's see what the Western Roman Empire does. Interesting. More peace they offer. offer of peace from the no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not taking your peace. Oh, I just realised that the Western Roman Empire is called Maria. <laughs> Why is he called Maria? <laughs> but here we go. This is a. Uh, there we go. Gets rid of the separatists. Peace negotiated. Excellent. Right now we can fight that army over here. And they're quite happy to fight this. I'm also quite happy to fight this. So we will fight this on the battlefield and we will see what happens. So I'll see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield and the plan is um, to basically... Well, we're going to try and burn the settlement down. That is the plan. So we're going to use our archers in skirmish formation, obviously, just to make sure that they don't get too scared. Actually, there's no real need. They've got no cavalry. Um, we're going to just burn down this corner um, with the siege, to oh, siege tower, the watchtower here. Burn that down. While also, we're going to use our slingers just to basically shoot the general to death. And then we're going to see how long they will uh, stand. So we'll have our spears probably going in first, followed by our Nordic brigade. Or maybe the Nordic brigade first. Who knows? Pikes will be in reserve with my badass orcs. Uh, axe unit, orcs unit. They've got all the orcs, auxiliary units, and some desert legionary defectors, it would seem. And we'll have our warlord back here, my general. So, let's get this plan underway. We'll put you on flaming shot. You will go and take out that watchtower. I'm gonna, s I'd like to see whether they actually come outside the settlement, because it's quite possible that they might. Um, actually, shoot that. that those mercenary hurlers first, because then we get rid of all their missiles. I do like that they're actually forming formation. That's very cool. That's not gonna. That's not gonna help them though. Uh, fire damage. Yeah, it's getting done. Get a bit nearer. Look at that. It's already killed about four of my men. I really don't like that this, like, just lose so many men. Ah, they are gonna, why would you break formation? Okay, I'm gonna move up the rest of the army a bit closer, just to give myself a chance. Cavalry, I guess, can just help support there. Um, they are actually not defending every single area, so I might be able to just sneak in one of the back ways with the cavalry. We'll see. Uh, this has been burned down a bit quicker, but still not quicker than I'd like it to be. I think it's burning down the entire area, like, so this whole corner will also go up in flames. We'll see. If that's the case, that's brilliant for us. This has all got, like, a lot of watchtowers, this area. Are they going to come out and fight me? Interesting if they did. Well, we are killing those uh, slingers off quite nicely. 53%? Keep it up. I might just fast forward this for just for the sake of the video. There we go. Just kill these guys. Yeah, there is 60 already, those 
hurlers. That's not good. They are getting out. Out for, out gun though. Okay, so they're just gonna let me inside the walls. Uh, keep going. Now I'll come over here. Oh no, they're not. Uh, right, keep shooting them. Keep shooting these guys. Yeah, keep spreading out. It helps uh, when my men get close to you. 87%. Um, I'm going to put the Nordic Brigade to go through here. Yeah, I didn't think these spears would do too well here. Hurry up, spears. You need to get into the combat. Pikes, though, don't go up. I don't want the pikes in there just yet. So thanks to uh, the Romans being idiots, they did just let me inside the walls. Uh, right. How I'm gonna? Okay. Yeah. This whole wall's gone. Um, you all just shoot at the general back there, please. Archers, off fire, uh, that. Go on to standard shot. Cavalry can come in the back. Because they're just being idiots. And then the rest of the army just come up and just... Oh! No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not do that. Um, yeah, we might need those axes in here quicker than I thought. Same with the pikes. Yeah, you can stand there for as long as you want, because I know that's not what I'm planning to do. Um, I'm going to just murder them. I'm gonna try and sneak in with some... I really wish I didn't have so many spears. It really is annoying. Uh, archers? Do you wanna just shoot into that massive mix back there, I guess? Oh, do you want to just run away? Because they're just going to shoot you back there. Actually, no. Cavalry just... Cavalry's not going to be useful yet. Nordic Brigade could do with getting involved, though. Oh, there we go. The walls are down. Cavalry can come in now. Do you mind just walking in? There we go. And job's good. Un. We are in the enemy lines. Uh, generally, you might as well go that way as well. Just keep shooting them, men. Just keep shooting them. Excellent. There we go. And now with the pike supporting, we should be just fine. Cavalry, come in. Cavalry, come in. Archers. Actually, archers, can you just keep shooting everything that's like back that side of the map? Uh, slingers, you might be needed just to support in flanking. There we go. Just free up this couple of units here. Good, good. Right, and then go in over there. General, come in and uh, fight some fighting. Do some good fighting. Yep, perfect. There we go. Wrap these guys up nicely. Nordic Brigade are sorted out. And it's going to be a costly battle, but we're going to get rid of a whole legion. That's the more important thing. That's what you got to think. Uh, you go over there. I guess, Cavalry, you can just help route these guys. And there's a very straight... Okay, why are the archers up here? Why are archers up here? Get back. Who's breaking? Oh, some really cheap Saxon spears. Um, cavalry, go and cap... 
cavalry. Go and cap that. Pikes. Over there. And you also get over there. You guys go and capture that. Actually, all of you guys just go and capture that. And then archers, I guess you can shoot back there. This should just take no time at all. Yeah, the cavalry's going to be very beaten up because apparently this is just a... Uh, there we go, that's dealt with in no time at all. Take the uh, capture point, they should eventually just break. And there we go, victory. Uh, we'll just end the battle. I don't really want to lose more men for no reason. And a decisive victory. That was, a, that was quite bloody, but I mean, that's just because it's a fort. We lost about 600 men, uh, nearly 700. That's not too bad. I can take that. Um, yeah, and then the Romans are basically gone. This is the general left. I don't even think he'll actually survive. Yeah, we'll take on what units there are. They have to fall back into my territory. Uh... Which I can then mop up with the other army, if I wanted to. Actually, could you make it? You could, but you then couldn't return to Trevorum. So you return to Trevorum, that's fine. You can have more morale versus Romans. You can then have... Um, against nomadic tribes, no, I'm not so fussed about that. More ammunition for uh, missile units is pretty handy though. So you can have that. And then we'll have... Hmm. Let's have authority and let's also get what will zeal do just help with integrity yeah have more have more integrity then you can just t kill off this chap there you go 74 men if you even lose a single man I'm disappointed in you oh they lost one man that's annoying one man. How did he die? Tripping over his own sword or something? Ridiculous. Shouldn't have lost that. Um, food consumption would go up dramatically if we did that. But it would also... Uh, I'll put... Yeah, I'll put a tavern in. Go on. I'll put a tavern in. And I'll put some livestock herd in to counter it. So that should sort that out very nicely. Um, this place is still going to be like close to rebellion anytime soon. Um, we still got some money to spend. I might just buy another army. Buy another army because I've got eight. I can have so many more armies. Um, horse though. Oh yeah, horses. Yeah, part of my family. Okay. Um, control. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not actually too fussed about that. I'll just get some random guy. And he's just a garrison army. He's not going to do much. Champion rider. Um, he's just going to have like a little bit of. Yeah, I just guess I'll put him in. The Tree Breakers. Uh, you can't actually... <laughs> How dumb is that? Surely you can get into your own province there. But apparently not. Should have put him there then. You could have quite happily got in there. But oh well. The Tree Breakers, he can buy some... Hurlers to start with. And we'll go from there. Three Hurlers should do him just fine. And you can garrison with that. And I can send him off to Tully or something. Just to gar get some more stuff if needs be. It's actually going down still. It's really annoying. Um, public order still... Why is it here? It just taxes religious differences. It's 82% Germanic paganism. How, is it, how are they upset about that? Um, but yes, that's probably going to have to wrap up this today's episode, guys. If you've enjoyed them, please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time, Legionnaires, 